And then the Monokuma and Cubs Theater segment began. But with all the Mono Cups destroyed, this segment was no longer possible. And so the curtain quickly fell. What? Oh! Alright. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Sounds good to me. The flashback light became the motive. When Kokichi remembered that he was a remnant of despair, I planned to kill him. I thought that if I killed him, this game and the battle between hope and despair would end. I was confident in my talent as an assassin. I knew I would be able to do it. We've tried to end this killing game before, but... You are naive. Huh? That's what I thought. I knew Kokichi would take advantage of my naivete, simply because it's him. Nihihi! <laughs> Maki totally gets me! That's why. I needed to settle it myself. I took the poison arrows and the crossbow, and broke into the hangar with an exosol. But when I entered the hangar, I saw something I never expected. Oh. Kaito and Kokichi were fighting each other. Kokichi was shot in the arm with a crossbow arrow, probably by Kaito when he fought back. Both of them stopped and looked at the Exosol, most likely surprised by its sudden appearance. Kokichi immediately took out his remote and attempted to control the Exosol I was in. I jumped out of the Exosol before he could and shot Kokichi in the back with an arrow. That should have been enough to stop him, since the arrow was coated with poison. The Strike 9 poison, correct? But why pick that particular poison? Some of the poisons in my lab were far more lethal. I wanted Kokichi to confess his true intentions before he died. And find out why he was always lying and trying to confuse us. What do you mean? If he was the mastermind, it would have been easier for him to hide in the shadows, right? He could have made it seem as if the late Junko was secretly behind this killing game. That way, he could reveal himself as the surprise mastermind to liven up the game. Wow, cliche. Because of his suspicious actions, anyone would already suspect him as the mastermind. Especially with that message in the courtyard. Kokichi said it was a hint, but was it necessary for him to go out of his way just for a hint? As a remnant of despair, I imagine he wanted to feel the despair of his plan being thwarted. I think that if he wanted the thrill, he would have carried out the plan carefully. So when his carefully laid out plan goes to waste, he would be in utter despair. Yeah, that's a good point. Maki must have wanted to hear it directly from Kokichi himself. But it was pointless. I was a fool for thinking I could have a serious talk with him. What are you talking about? Remnants of despair? What's that? I... I don't understand anything you're saying. I am so confused. Wait. I can't remember what he said to us when we, we were at the end of the tunnel. I can't remember if he said that he was a remnant, remnant of despair. Like, I can't remember anything. I can't remember. The only thing I could think of is that he didn't use the flashback light on, on himself. And he probably didn't even use it. Like, he didn't even find it, maybe. Someone else left it there. And that's why he doesn't know anything that's happening. Because he doesn't remember, and he's not the mastermind? I... I... I think... Anyway... Why are you starting up the killing game when it should have ended? You already know it's all meaningless, and that 
I'm the mastermind. Do you love killing that much? Shut up, you asshole! Wow, look at this. I realized it was pointless to continue the conversation, so I shot the final arrow. But then... Kaito blocked it. What? Oh, that's Kaito for you. Classic Kaito. Kaito protected Kokichi? W why? Why would Kaito protect Kokichi? At that moment, my mind went blank. I knew I had to do something about the poison. I rushed to Shuichi's research lab for the antidote. So you didn't have the antidote with you at the time? I used Strike 9 poison to torture Kokichi for info, but I planned to kill him from the start. <laughs> That's so mean! But that was my first mistake. Because of that... Kaito! You what? I ended up killing Kaito. When I returned with the antidote, the hangar shutter had been closed. I assumed it was Kokichi's doing, but because of that, I couldn't enter the hangar anymore. I needed to give Kaito the antidote somehow, so I went to the bathroom window. Kaito, can you hear me? Quick, drink this antidote! After calling out to him, I chucked the antidote through the bathroom window. Oh, that's what that was. Kaito noticed it and grabbed the antidote. But Kokichi stole it from him. Sorry, but I can't die here. Since I'm the mastermind of this killing game. Wait, there's only one antidote. Oh, you don't have to worry about Kaito. He fulfilled his dream, right? He already went to space. <clears throat> Damn it. S stop Phew, I feel so much better. I guess that's a wrap. Or maybe not, because now another class trial is going to start. Class trial? You'll be the blackened for this case, you know. The blackened who killed Kaito. I... I killed... Shut it! Screw the class trials! Like hell am I gonna let you have your way? Kaito! Why did you protect Kokichi? If you didn't help him, then... I couldn't help it. Even if it's Kokichi, I, I can't... have you kill anybody. What? Oh, Kaito wasn't protecting me. He was protecting Maki. The situation just got way worse, huh? Maki is gonna become the black and responsible for killing you. All because you protected me! D don't you worry, Maki Roll. I'm not gonna die that easily. Just leave it to me. I'll put an end to this killing game. <laughs> You're still full of energy, even like that. You really are not boring. Not boring? What? <laughs> I want to see what a dying Kaito can do. So, show me what you've got. I won't meddle with your plans. What are you? Why does he sound like that? Don't mind me. Like... Run, Maki, roll. He doesn't sound like his Just usual self at all. Hurry up and run. I'm talking about Kokichi. Run. And live. You gotta live. But I refused to give up. I tried to enter the hangar by breaking the control panel with my knife. Yep, with all those marks. In the end, I couldn't. So that's where the marks on the control panel came from, huh? 
After that, I returned to the bathroom window once more, but I didn't see anyone. The bathroom door was closed. I called out, but neither Kaito nor Kokichi answered. I couldn't do anything anymore. All I could do was leave. That's when I made up my mind. As the blackened who killed Kaito, I would kill Kokichi during this class trial. In exchange for all of your lives. Yikes. So that's what happened. Then Kokichi, knowing what he knew, still helped Maki cover up her crime? Was that why you smushed Kaito in the hydraulic press? Kaito wanted Maki to be spotless. As his friend, I felt obliged to help him. How dare you make fun of him! Whoa. You call yourself a friend? You enjoyed watching us suffer! Put that back. You fucking asshole! Ooh, Maki is so scary. Good thing I'm in this exosol. Pretty sure Maki would have already killed me if I was out there in the flesh. So, what are everyone's plans now? With the truth out in the open, who are you guys going to vote for? Dude, uh, I don't know. You can vote for me. No, but if you probably do, not. We'll all die together. I probably just have to get rid of Maki. Or vote for Maki and live. Well, choose whichever you want. I don't care either way. Why? Why are you so calm? Your life depends on this too. Who cares? Just choose already. Come on, who are you going to vote for? No, we can't vote yet. We don't have the whole truth. True, Kaito could have survived the poison. This case Possibly. isn't over. Maybe. I'm not sure. Huh? Thank you for telling us everything, Maki. <laughs> Thanks to you, I finally understand. There's another hidden truth within your testimony. Yo! A hidden truth? Yes, I'm positive. Because there's something wrong with a testimony you've given us. The alarm didn't go off. A part of Maki's testimony that doesn't add up. Because if you get close to the control panel... Kai... Um, the... It's this. That's it! Yes! Maki said she used a knife to try to break the control panel and enter the hangar. How did I know? But that doesn't make sense, because there's an alarm system on the shutter. Oh yeah! The alarm should have gone off if someone got close to the shutter. I was too focused to notice at the time. But now that you mention it, it is odd. Maybe the sensor just missed her. No. Nah, the security there isn't that sloppy. If a shady person got near the shutter, the alarm would have gone off without question. Then why didn't the alarm go off? Like I told you, this isn't over. There's still a hidden truth to find. That's right. There must be some kind of reason behind all the oddities. Finding the reason will help us find the hidden truth. Oh, is Kato really gone? Dang, bro. I did attempt to enter the hangar. And I tried to destroy the control panel with my knife. At the time, the alarm system didn't go off. But if you would approach the shutter... Wait, what's the front shutter? Or... It is protected by an, an electrical barrier. An electric barrier. If someone approaches that alarm will sound through the academy, the alarm can be disabled with the uh, remote. The control panel for the electric barrier is next to the shutter, but it has some marks on it. What if when Kokiji tried to take control of the exosol, he accidentally disabled the alarm? Or is that a- no, that's a different one, right? A different alarm remote. I don't know. The alarm would have activated with 100% certainty. Maybe it was just broken. Perhaps it was turned to a special setting? That's or maybe Maki is telling a lie. Did you really try to break the control panel with a knife? 
I'm not going to tell any more lies. Good. It seems like the alarm system itself was working properly. So what can we learn from that? Hey, the shutter. The alarm would have been 100% certainty. That's wrong! There is a way to disable the alarm system. An electro bomb would take it down. But Maki only had one bomb, and she used it during the raid this morning. Then the only other person who could have used one is Kokichi, right? Huh? Why would I use an electro bomb? I had no reason to shut off the alarm, right? I'd be at a disadvantage if I did that. I guess so. I can't come up with a reason why Kokichi would want to cut the alarm. But we know that the alarm system was neutralized, that it had to be. In that case, then... I've got it! Disabling the alarm system wasn't the real objective. What? The main objective of Kokichi using an electro bomb was... Disable the press's safety function? That's it! It was to deactivate the safety function on the press. Deactivate the safety function? The Electra bomb wouldn't have just taken down the alarm system. It also would have disabled the hydraulic press's safety function. That's true, but why would he do that? There's only one reason that anyone would want to do that. But if I'm right, it means that we've been thinking about this all wrong. All wrong? What aspect of this case runs contrary to the new evidence? Um... There's the credibility of the death video because of the camera, right? Maybe the bomb affected the death video somehow. Oh. It doesn't affect... It didn't affect the camera? Okay, my bad, my bad. I'm a fraud. Uh, his cause of death? Um... That's it! Kaito's cause of death. My bad. What? If the electro bomb was used while Maki was trying to deliver the antidote, maybe Kaito didn't die by poison. It could be something else entirely. Yeah, the cause of death could now be him being pressed. No, I don't. I don't know how, or his disease, or hmm. This is it! The hydraulic press. Kaito could have been killed by the press after all. What? He could have? If the safety was off, the press could have crushed Kaito while he was still alive. Yeah. Right after I threw the antidote, I tried to open the shutter. So, Kaito should have still been alive. And if he was crushed by the hydraulic press after that, then we have our cause of death. If that's the case, it'd mean the one who killed Kaito wasn't Maki. It would be whoever was operating the hydraulic press. Kokichi. It could be Kaito himself. I see. Very impressive. The hydraulic press could have been the cause of death. But that's just a possibility what do you mean it's possible that i killed kaito with the press but there's no way to know kaito's death could have been either the poison arrow or the hydraulic press both causes are possible but you'll never be able to determine it no matter what no matter what that's not true! 
We can probably solve this mystery too. Right, Shuichi? Shuichi? Is it really possible to determine Kaito's actual cause of death? It is possible. We got this. We have to believe. <clears throat> no, there's no evidence that determines the cause of death. Absolutely. Right, Shuichi? It can't be. I don't want to accept it either. I don't want to believe it, but... No, oh, we, ha we, we can't just not believe. Uh, I mean, I don't know how we would be able to, to find it, it. But Kokichi is right. We have no way to prove the cause of death. Ah. Oh. Well, what did you say? You can't check the body, and you don't have any conclusive evidence. Wait, Kaito's actually gone? When I selected, um, I think it was either Kaito or Kokichi. Like, I had to choose whether I think Kaito's gone or Kokichi's gone. I said Kaito was gone? So Kaito's actually gone? You can't deduce oh, anymore from no. here on out. There's no way to know what happened. Oh, no. But I know. Because I was actually involved. Then tell us, please. So that's what you were trying to do. You were trying to commit an unsolvable murder. <laughs> do you finally get it? Yep, that was my plan. The gimmick of this murder case isn't the unknown victim. But rather, the unknowable culprit! No one understands but me. Only I know the answer. There's no more room for deduction here. Choose the culprit with your own intuition! Intuition? Me? <laughs> Are you troubled? I'm sure robots don't have intuition, right? But there's nothing you can do about it. This is just how the trial goes. So, who is the culprit? Maki or me? I pick C. C. The heart racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face off. It's voting time! Already? Whoa! who decides when it's voting time oh come on no one's gonna figure out the truth let's just vote already this won't be a problem right monokuma because you know who the culprit is don't you just like you always do huh yeah uh, uh, yes uh, of course he doesn't know yeah what kind of a reaction is that? The uh, the culprit, you say? Uh, uh, yes, uh, of course I know. Hmm? Why do you seem so flustered? Uh, flustered? Me? <laughs> what are you talking about? What's going on with Monokuma right now? Monokuma? Do you not know who the culprit is either? Huh? I don't know. Uh, what don't I know, huh? You don't know, do you? What does this mean? Why doesn't Monokuma know who the culprit is? Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is either? If Monokuma doesn't know, what does that tell us about this case? Wait, this case? Yes, that's it. So that's what Kokichi's real objective was. Huh? What are you talking about? Kokichi wasn't just trying to commit a murder that we couldn't figure out. He was trying to commit a murder that Monokuma couldn't figure out either. A murder Monokuma couldn't figure out? That's why the Monokuma file was terrible. what's terrible. the point of that? Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma. I don't think so. But consider how many elements of this case would be cleared up. Prior to this case, Monokuma always knew the specific details of each crime, correct? That must mean that he was using some way of monitoring us. 
Perhaps there are hidden cameras, strategically placed to avoid our detection. I can't say for certain, but he must be keeping watch somehow. Kokichi probably used the Electrobomb to scramble whatever that was. <gasps> the Electrobomb would prevent any cameras from sending video wirelessly. Oh, wow. Which means it wouldn't matter where the surveillance cameras were hidden. Like I said, what's the point? Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma! Grr. Before we determine that for sure, I want to make one thing clear. Okay. okay. If the objective were to create a crime that would stump Monokuma, the Exosols... Yes, the Exosols weren't protecting Monokuma. They were stopping they were. her from moving. They were bullying him. That's it! They were watching Monokuma. Watching him? Yes. Remember what Monokuma said earlier in the investigation? Oh, at the time, the Exosols were on autopilot and directed to, to only observe me. If they were protecting him like bodyguards, they wouldn't have been facing him. They would have been scanning the area, watching us. Oh. But they weren't. That implies that they weren't watching us. They were watching him. They were trying to make sure that Monokuma wouldn't go near the crime scene. That reminds me. Before I stole an Exosol, all four units were focused on Monokuma. That's why when I stole one to enter the hangar, the other three didn't pursue me. Oh. So Monokuma must have been talking about Maki. Even if it puts someone at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem that interested in sharing it with you guys. So you share it instead, that way it will be fair to all the participants. She didn't want to share that information because it would have linked her to the murder. In which case, it could only be Maki. You're right. Um, so to summarize this discussion, Kokichi used the electro bomb in the hangar and the Exosols to watch Monokuma, thereby creating a scenario in which Monokuma has no idea who the culprit is? I told you there's no point! Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma! Bro, no. Kokichi might not be controlling Monokuma at all. What? Get her! <laughs> but Kokichi's the mastermind, right? Shouldn't he be controlling Monokuma? Kokichi might not be the mastermind. What? Remember that the only reason we think that is because Kokichi told us. Monokuma hasn't said a word about that. It's possible that Kokichi is just lying to us. <laughs> no way I lied! I'm definitely controlling Monokuma. The mastermind of the killing game is totally me. The one who pitted humanity's last survivors against each other is... All me, baby. That's right. He's a remnant of despair. How'd we forget that? I, I forgot. I don't remember. But that doesn't necessarily mean that he's the mastermind. Oh, I think maybe he did say he's a remnant of despair. I don't remember. Um, well, hmm. I guess. But is that really possible? Well, Monokuma? I can't answer that without causing problems, because I gotta run this trial fair and square. Even more reason to give us the answer. If you don't tell us the truth right now, you'll be an accomplice to Kokichi's lies. Does that sound like a fair game? Would you say this class trial is fair? Yeah, tell us! 
Is Kokichi the real mastermind or not? No need to think about it. You're being way too forward, you know? Aren't you normally the forward one? Ah. I mean, I don't mind, because that's probably part of your strategy, too. But in the interest of fairness, I suppose it's time to tell the truth. Unlike the lies you love so much, the truth should be impartial to everyone. And what is that truth? I'm not being controlled by Kokichi, because he's not the mastermind. All right, there we go. Whoa, whoa, what? Is that really true? Kokichi was just messing with you. I never once said he was the mastermind. You were nowhere to be found, though, to be and honest. It was all Let's be fair. Lie? Yeah, I yes, guess. That is what that would mean. With the key from the last motive, he was the first to learn the truth of the outside world. Based on his deductions, he fabricated a lie to make you all think he was the mastermind. Right, that's why he has I no idea. Kokichi's own deductions. That's why he has no idea about that last flashback light, probably. I think so. Do you want to know? Then I'll tell you. I'm getting kind of bored with all the lines, so everything I say now will be the truth, okay? His deductions got a lot of details right, though. Pretty impressive, honestly. But what about the Exosols? If Kokichi wasn't the mastermind, how'd he control them so easily? He just used Mew's remote control, right? What? Mew's remote control? So How the remote that Kokichi was using was made by Mew? How many things did she make? Oh, you didn't know? No. Mew not only invented the Electro Bomb and the Electro Hammer, she also made a remote control that can hijack any electronic device. Oh, I feel like she didn't have to do anything bad then like i feel like she didn't have to do the things she tried to do in the virtual world because she's making all these devices that created hope she didn't need to like try to escape early i feel like kokichi just slapped a receiver on each of the exosols and took them for a spin wow hey isn't it a bit unfair to tell them all that fairness has nothing to do with it I offered up that info purely out of spite. Spite towards you for trying to usurp the mastermind's role and take over the game. Well, whatever. It's way more interesting to defeat an enemy who plays dirty anyway. What's going on? It seems like they're actually fighting. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi isn't the mastermind. Were we just being dragged around by Kokichi's lies the whole time? What were you trying to accomplish by pretending to be the mastermind, Kokichi? Yeah! Now you're gonna be all quiet? This is so frustrating! Then if he's not the mastermind, who is? Oh, Why snap. Are you so certain there's even a mastermind to begin with? Oh, yeah, hopefully we're all good, right? We're all good. What? What do you mean? Why, that's on a need to know basis, and you don't need to know. But I want to know. The real mastermind is not Kokichi? Who could it be? I was thinking it was Junko and Oshima. But that can't be it. She's gone. We've never come into contact with her. If so, who's done this? Who planned this game? Anyway, this conversation has flown off the rails. Let's get things back on track. This class trial is to figure out who the culprit is, not the mastermind. So, yeah, get to talking. I agree. 
Before we worry about who the mastermind is or what my intent is, let's figure out the culprit! But Monokuma doesn't know who it is. How is he supposed to confirm the results? We don't need to worry about that. Let's just leave the decision-making to Monokuma. But you gotta run the class trial too. So no mistakes, okay? Are you trying to get me to do something? You've been watching us solve all these cases, but you can't be a spectator anymore. You're gonna participate in the class trial from here on out. What? So, let's resume this class trial. Monokuma, you gotta use your brain too. Oh, that's cool. This will be the final class trial. Me versus Monokuma. You versus Monokuma? When I play a game, I intend to win. But what's considered winning in this game? Beating the other players? No. Beating the game's mastermind is the true victory. And that's how I'll win! That's why I decided to challenge Monokuma! If I can deceive Monokuma till the very end, then I'll be the winner! You're dragging us around like this? Just so you can win a game? As I suspected, your thought process defies all logic. But since the outside world is in total ruin, this game is the only entertainment we have. At least I can enjoy this game to the fullest and feel good winning. You really are a remnant of despair. Your way of thinking is just chaotic. Remnant of despair? Eh, whatevs. Let's just get this started. Why does she keep questioning if that? If the students or Monokuma don't know who the culprit is, then I'm the winner. Don't underestimate me, or Shuichi and the others, for that matter. Hmm? What? <laughs> it's just like a remnant of despair to try to assume control of the game. But these kids are all that's left of Hope's Peak Academy. If you think they're gonna make this easy for you, you better think again. Whose side are you taking here? Side? Isn't it obvious? Monokuma joins your party. Oh! Ultimate despair headmaster. Who invited you? Oh, dude, come on in. Now, let's join forces and unravel the truth behind this case. Bro, okay, let's do it. Well, we were going to do it anyway. Oh, sure you were. I mean, let's just ignore Monokuma. His actions are always beyond comprehension. Hey! on the case I need Monokuma I don't know how big brain he is but he can actually help us I I just feel like I feel like I'm in the same, same situation as the last game where I, I kind of have like no more smart people left to help me hey, if I was Kaede Shuichi could help so but. we can ignore you now where should we start we've already established what Kokichi is after yeah He's just gonna keep talking anyway, isn't he? In my experience, whenever you learn a new fact... Yeah? You learn something else along with it! Yes, let's look for that. You warmed up to him real fast. I guess you are both robots. Hey! So another truth comes out. The piece of evidence makes more sense now. The evidence that I couldn't wrap my head around. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. What? Oh no, my Monokoma doesn't know who the culprit is. What evidence needs to be analyzed again? Oh, snap. We have no idea what happened in the bathroom. Kokichi's clothes? We never analyzed that at all, I feel like. Dang, bro. I don't know. 
I already know about that. We need to, we need evidence of what I don't know. Oh no! If Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is, what evidence needs to be analyzed again? This is it. Let's discuss the video of Kaito being crushed by the hydraulic press. There's no blood trail to it at all. That's what I'm confused about. Kokichi said that he filmed that video to prove he was not the victim. But we know that Kokichi was trying to mislead Monokuma. So what about the video? It's pretty strange to present evidence that condemns you after all. Then what kind of mistake was Kokichi trying to get me to make? Maybe he crushed Kaito with a hydraulic press, so the cause of death would be unknown? But if that were the only objective, there would be no need to film it. Discovering the crushed body would have been enough. No need to show us the film. That's true! I guess you're starting to fit in after all. If you get any cuter, I'm gonna hug you. Wow, okay, that's fast. Huh? Really? There must be a reason you went out of your way to show us the body being crushed. No reason, really. That's just my twisted personality. You're lying again, Kokichi. There's a method to your madness. If you wanted Monokuma to make a mistake, then showing us the video. It must have something to do with trying to fool Monokuma. Taking the video of the murder but keeping the victim's identity hidden. What does it show? What doesn't it show? Oh, what? Is it even possible? No, that's a question for later. For now, we know that. If you show the moment of Kaito's death, of course it would lead us to believe he died. Yeah? Even if we can't positively identify the body, we would still believe Kaito was the victim. Because of the video? And that might be exactly the mistake Kokichi was going for. Does that mean the victims were switched? Switched? Then it was some other dead body that got crushed by the hydraulic press? Or maybe they're both still what? here. I don't know. Where would he even get another body? Another? I don't know. Oh, there snap. That's true. There should be plenty true. to choose from if you reuse the body of a former victim. Huh? If there was an unknown body, then we could guess the victim was switched. <laughs> but too bad. Switching the victims was impossible. He looks like he's asleep. Or if... Yeah. The footage showed the body being crushed. When in the footage would they have been able to switch the victims? And we already established that the footage was not doctored in any way. The camera doesn't have any editing functions. Just play, record, and pause. Monokuma also said that no computer was used to edit the footage. Remember? Yep. Damn it! Me and my big mouth! Which means switching out the victim would not be possible. Also, if the victim was switched, then that would mean Kaito is still alive. We already discussed this so many times. The chance of that happening is impos- It might be possible. Huh? There could be a trick to make the switch possible. We just haven't noticed it yet. Oh, and what trick is that? Now I'm lost. <laughs> See, you don't know, do you? 
I already said it's impossible. Maki's not wrong. There is a way it could be done. So we can't just give up here. Hey, Shuichi. I'll think harder about this as well. So, can you confirm whether or not the victims switch places? If Kaito is... alive or not? Maki... I don't like the thought that I killed Kaito. I don't... want that. Okay then. Let's talk about the possibility that Maki Roll mentioned. Himiko! If you call her that again... She's fine, it's fine. Yes, please. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Then let's all talk it over together. Together. And don't forget, you're not alone. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's only gonna wear you out. It's That's hard to do, Kaito. When... F Times are hard, you gotta rely on your friends. I need Rantaro. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. sure we'll figure no. something out. We'll, we'll, we'll do this together. Jeez, you guys are a stubborn bunch. There's no trick. That's probably another lie. However, if the victims were switched, then that would mean the footage was altered. Maybe it wasn't. How could it have been altered when we know that the footage wasn't edited? The angle? If we could figure I don't know. that out, hmm. maybe we'd know how they switched places. I knew there was a trick to that video the whole time. Really? Okichi made it, so it's 100% suspicious. A trick to that video? Oh no, but his hand is like... Oh, it went really fast in that part. What could it be? What's suspicious about it? Dude, why did it go really fast on that last part? I don't know. Hydraulic press, Kaito's coat. Whoa. There must be some trick to that video. Maybe. That's what you all gotta figure out. Hydraulic press controls are a short distance away from the device itself. There are two buttons up and down. Uh, it also enables the safety function. I I don't know. It just went really fast at the end. His coat. When the when the, it was discovered, only the left sleeve was taken out from the hydraulic press. There is no trick. You can check, but there's no editing function in that camera. A video shot with a camera from the Exisle. It says from the Exisle. I don't Did the placement know. of that camera seem suspicious to any of you? The filming angle seemed unnatural, don't you think? That's what I was the thinking. in that video. Was it really Kaito? Something seemed off about that video to me. When the hydraulic press stopped for a brief moment. That's yes. Could it be that the video was shot at another location? What? No. Any other bright ideas? Come on, everybody, speak up! Monokuma, say something. And I'll like help us. I feel like someone said something that gives us a clue. If we put our heads together, we can find hope. We won't fall into despair. It has an up and down button. It has no um. It has no like. It, it just has up and down. So why would it pause? There is no trick. And why did it go down really fast? You can check, but there's no editing function in that camera. So that's probably true. Something seems off about that video to me. Yes. When the hydraulic press stopped for a brief moment. I agree. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Kibo is on to something. Isn't it weird that the hydraulic press stopped for a second? It, yeah, I know, right? Because when Kibo and I first investigated that hydraulic press, it just kept going. I can't believe we tried that. Oh, my my hand was on the button the whole time. He quickly rolled out. I can't believe it. Yes, that's right. The hydraulic press kept lowering itself without stopping. But in the video, it stopped. Is 
See, it stopped right there and then it went really fast. The hydraulic press stopped briefly? Right before it crushed the body? But why would it stop? Why did the press stop? There's only one reason I can think of. <gasps> it has... It, oh my gosh! It has... Um, pause? It has recording? Pause. And then record, right? Stop, pause, and go. Dude, you can pause it when it suddenly stops? Dude, oh my gosh. Why didn't I think of that? Oh. Kokiji, you fooled me. Gosh. You can... Just because you didn't edit it doesn't mean you can't pause it so you can suddenly stop and you can... Oh my gosh, I got fooled. I'm a fool, man. <sighs> I hope that's the case. Oh, man. I'm kind of mad at myself, to be honest. What is that? This? Where's the camera? Why did the hydro hydraulic press come to a stop? Is that asking if it's the exit soul? And what is this? Huh. Shoot, I don't know then. <laughs> so it's either the exit soul uh, this had nothing to do with it, I'm pretty sure. Or this? Up, down. Like, you can just let go of the button, I guess. I think it's this. You let go of the button, probably? Yeah, I don't think he had an exosol doing anything. I, it might be this. You have to have your hand on the button. Oh, snap. That's a lot of things. Wait. The only way to stop the hydraulic press is the force stop button. An electro bomb went off in the hangar, which would have interfered with the safety function. There'd be no way to stop the hydraulic press unless someone used the force stop button. When you say someone, you mean Kokichi, right? He was the only one there. Oh, I guess he could have pressed that too, hmm, my bad. Actually, maybe I pressed it by accident. I don't really remember. So what of it? The press only stopped for like a sec. You can't switch the victim in such a short time, can you? That's true. There's also the question of how the bodies got switched while the camera was rolling. It paused. That would have clearly been caught on camera. I don't know, man. While the camera was rolling. Oh, I see. It wasn't just the press that stopped. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? If you stop something else at the same time you stop the hydraulic press. Yes, I see it now. That's how the bodies were switched. If you stop that. You could have swapped the bodies easily. No, I already know. It's the camera. I gotta find it. That's not it. That doesn't look like it either. Dude, this looks destroyed, bro. All right, <sighs> messed up here. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. I 
The culprit stopped the video camera at the same time as the hydraulic press. Then, while the camera was off, they switched the body under the hydraulic press. After the body was swapped, the press and the camera were started simultaneously. So it just looks like the press stopped for a moment. But the hand one. That's what I've been saying this whole time! I still see the hand, I don't know. When did you ever say that? So they stopped at the same time. The camera position did seem odd to me. But now I get it. The trick wouldn't work unless it was set up there. Huh? Why? To get the trick we just described to work, the camera had to be set up precisely. Let's pin that down. Where was the camera set up? What? It, it looks like... Uh... Here, probably. There! The video camera must have been set up somewhere around here. Wow, there really was to a gap. Operate huh? the press and the camera at the, the same boy. time. You would have to be near the switch. Yep. That's why the video was taken from that unnatural angle. If they were recording it like normal, they would have used a better angle. And if it was recorded at such an odd angle, then that proves the trick was used. Camera angles, huh? Looks like your cosplayer experience is finally useful. Finally? <laughs> well, cosplay doesn't really come up all that much in class trials. True. That's why you haven't said anything. There was a reason Helpful. the camera was set up. My bad. But also Sorry. a reason for the height. Okay. The height. When the press was stopped, you couldn't really see who was inside it, correct? Yeah, there's still a hand that in there, was though. intentional. The body is mostly hidden by the press, right. making the swap easier. Oh. The camera must have been placed at such a high position so it would produce that angle. I wonder if they used that tripod in the hangar to adjust the camera's height. Okay, I'm sorry. I I don't want to roast Samugi too much. It's just that I kind of, when I first played the game, I kind of expected her to be like super slick and evil because of the cosplay thing. The ultimate cosplayer. I thought that would be like such an OP ability. But um, turns out she can't really use it. And so during the class trials, she's not really able to use her expertise as that much as well. It's not like she spots someone doing something dressed as someone else. Like, I don't know. It's not too helpful anymore, so it, 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 it kind of disappointed me, and I guess that's why he roasted her for a while. Did they get that from the warehouse too? Jeez, that place is like a 4D pocket! Just like the marketplace in the second game. You don't get to make that reference! Why? Then, that logic is correct, right? Kokichi used that video angle trick and switched the victim in the hydraulic press. In that case, Kaito is... Before he was crushed by the press, he was swapped with a different body! But then who was under there? So Kaito's still alive! If there is anyone in there. Well, wait just a minute. What? But I just summed it up so nicely. Himiko, the different body you mentioned, what are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? The bodies from the other cases. Okichi's the mastermind, so he... Wait, the mastermind? Yeah, Kokichi isn't the mastermind, so... I don't think he'd be able to produce a body to switch out. What? Well, Monokuma, do the rules allow for a body to be reused? 
Very well. I'll answer that. You're giving in pretty easily. Well, it's crucial information to make the trial fair. This discussion is pointless if it's not clear what the culprit was allowed to do, right? <laughs> You're a convenient mastermind, but I guess that makes defeating you worth my time. Now then, regarding the reuse of a dead body. That is impossible! All the dead bodies have already been thrown away. Yeah, that, ma that makes sense. Thrown away? The other bodies are gone? Then who did Kaito switch places with? Kokichi and Kaito were the only ones to the hangar at that time. If they were the only ones present during the body swapping trick, then the real victim was... What, the other person in the hangar? Kokichi? If it wasn't an old body, it could only be... What's wrong, Shuichi? Who did Kaido switch places with? Kokichi, no! Maki, I think I missed something very important here. Something important? If I have the timeline right, there were only two people in the hangar at the time. Which means that something had to have been decided before. I have to pin down. Pin that down. I can't let anything escape me this time. What? How are the bodies swapped that the only two people are switched? I lost it. Victim. The victim helped? I see now. Kukichi helped? people in the hangar at the time the bodies were swapped which means they were working together huh working together the only two people involved in the swap were the victim and the culprit the culprit was operating the camera and the hydraulic press while the victim lay inside If they switched places while the press and the camera were stopped. Oh, snap. Then the person who turned the camera and the press back on was the original victim. Oh, snap. Um, I don't know if this is right, but when we looked at the bottle in the... Hmm. Because it... We found a bottle of what? The, the poison in our room. And a little bit was taken out. But then there's a bottle. There was antidotes in, on our desk. But they weren't the right ones. But there's a bottle in the bathroom. That just says poison. But there's blood covering part of the label. What if that is the antidote? Or maybe it's not. And Kokichi was gonna go out because he drank something wrong? To put it I'm simply, not sure. Both people operated the press and camera at different times. An impossible trick. Unless the victim and culprit agreed to cooperate beforehand. The victim and culprit cooperated? Is that even possible? Kaito and Kokichi, what a It pair. sounds bizarre, but perhaps that was the whole point. 
commit a crime that was so confusing, even Monokuma would be tricked. Jeez, this culprit's a real jerk. So, have you realized who done it yet? The culprit of the case. If my detective work hasn't failed me, then the culprit inside the exisle exists. It can only be them. The apparent victim we saw in the video was Kaito, which means. Is that why they flushed down the Kokichi clothes was operating of Kokichi? The hydraulic press and camera at first. Hmm. If the two of them switched while the press was stopped, then the culprit who started the hydraulic press again and crushed Kokichi must be Kaito. So. The person inside that exosol isn't Kokichi. It has to be Kaito. Kokichi's gone then? What did you say? Hmm. So the culprit for this case is. Kaito Momota. That is what the ultimate detective has deduced, right? Kaito is the culprit? What? You're joking, right? You can't be serious. I don't want to believe it either, but it's the only way any of this makes sense. My detective work has led me to the conclusion that Kaito is the culprit. Is that true? Is Kaito really in there? Hey, answer us! If you really are Kaito, then... I'm the culprit. Huh? There's just no way that Kaito can still be alive. Because I'm the culprit. Now you wanna you wanna protect Kaito. Wait, you? But didn't you say I saw it with my own eyes. No more lies. Kokichi drank the antidote that he stole from Kaito. Yeah, but I don't know. It's a little There's confusing. There's no doubt Kaito died. And he died because of my poison arrow. Uh, I, I just don't know. But you told us you didn't want to kill Kaito. Yes, and... I never wanted to. I wanted to believe that I didn't kill him. But the truth speaks differently. In the end, I was just running away from the facts. Huh? I don't understand. Maki, are you trying to protect Kaito? If he's the culprit, you're trying to help him get away? There was only one antidote, so it's more likely he died from my poison arrow. This is the truth. It's not decided yet. I could have still killed him with the hydraulic press. Either way, those are the two options. Monokuma knows the answer. Right? Huh? Are those the only options? I guess that's how things turned out. No, that can't be! The person in that exosol is... It's not Kaito! I saw Kokichi drink the antidote! There's no mistake. Kaito is dead. I... killed Kaito. There is absolutely no doubt that's the truth. I thought so. Maki is trying to protect Kaito. I understand how she feels, but if Kaito is the culprit, why did he agree to Kokichi's plan? Because he thought Kokichi was the mastermind and he can end the game? I can't believe that Kaito would do something so selfish. There must be a reason for it. I truly believe that. 
But I have to get to the bottom of this before I can uncover that truth. But Maki, you don't know for certain that Kokichi drank the antidote. What? You saw him drink it right in front of you, but you couldn't confirm he actually did it. So maybe there's another possibility. What are you talking about? Impossible. That's impossible. There is no other possibility. I killed Kaito. Here we go. I killed Kaito. You're the one who's wrong. He died from my poison arrow. There's no other possibility. What do you know? I killed Kaito! You're the one who's wrong. He died from my poison arrow. There's no other possibility. It doesn't matter what you say. I'm telling you, this is the truth! But you keep getting in the way! Yeah, because I'm trying to find You're the truth. so goddamn annoying. Oh, wow. It doesn't matter what you say. All that hangout for what? I'm telling you, this is the truth! All the training sessions for what? But for you, you to lie? But you keep getting in the way. You're the one getting in the way. Oh, my god. I was at the scene. Yeah? So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth anymore. Because I know what I saw. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth anymore. Because I know what I saw. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. <laughs> I saw Kokichi drink the antidote. Uh, pretended to drink the antidote. It ends here! I... Kokichi just pretended to drink the antidote. He didn't actually drink it. He pretended to drink it? Drinking the antidote was part of his lie. Maki could only see so much through the window. She didn't confirm Kokichi drank it. I believe that Kokichi knew this and just pretended to drink the antidote. After Maki left, he gave the antidote to Kaito. There's a strong possibility that all of this was done to make Kaito cooperate. Make him cooperate? The swapping trick required the victim and culprit to work together. Kaito's cooperation was essential to Kokichi's plan. However, I don't think Kokichi would be able to sway Kaito easily. He needed leverage. He gave Kaito the antidote in exchange for his cooperation. In exchange for his own life, you mean? Kaito had no choice. He had to cooperate after Kokichi saved his life. That's just Kaito's character. And Kokichi knew that. He swallowed his pride with the antidote and agreed to participate in Kokichi's plan. But didn't Kokichi make this plan? What good is it for him if he's dead? I imagine this was all part of Kokichi's plan to confuse us. You wouldn't think that someone would plan their own murder. He went so far as to give up his life, just to create this mystery? Only Kokichi could think of something so nefarious. 
Who else would agree to die just to execute their plan? Nakito. Why would he go that far? I don't know. I bet Kokichi was determined to beat me at my own game, no matter what. But too bad, Shuichi figured out the truth. Truth? Are you sure it's not delusion? Delusion? A delusion completely off the mark. To make you think that I died. But who cares what you guys think? This is between me and Monokuma. I don't give a crap if the extras in this game get it right or not. I mean, if it is extras, Kaito... I'm fine with being an extra. If it is Kaito, he's nailing the role pretty well. Huh? Why? If we're just extras, then even if we get it wrong, we won't get killed. No, I'd still kill you all. Don't put Kokichi's words in my mouth. <laughs> but why? You are being so friendly with us. If Monokuma gets it right, then he takes everyone's lives, yeah? But if Monokuma gets it wrong, then he'd have no right to take everyone's lives. If Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is, then this killing game can't function anymore. Can't function anymore. Kaito, I believe in you. Mm -hmm. If you're cooperating with this plan, you must have a reason. To determine that reason, I need to reveal the truth. I still think Kaito is the culprit. Thinking of it that way makes all the pieces fit. I will show you the truth. The truth you can't deny. After receiving the item from Himiko, the culprit. Gosh. It's really Kaito? What weapon did Kokichi take out? Probably that. Damn, look at Kokichi, he looks sick. That's why there's blood everywhere.
What? Where did the culprit shoot Kokichi? His back. I guess they didn't shoot his back. Hmm. I just assumed. Who was hit by the first arrow Maki fired? Uh, Kokichi, right? Who was hit by the second arrow? This is the truth of the case! What a complicated case. Let's go over the trick that Kokichi and the culprit created together. Last night, Kibo saw Himiko from the window of his lab. She was carrying a black case and heading to the Exocil hangar. When she reached the hangar, she handed the case to someone through the bathroom window. That someone is the culprit of this case. Locked in the bathroom, the culprit had asked Himiko to bring them a certain weapon. A disassembled crossbow from Maki's lab. The culprit was going to use the crossbow to challenge Kokichi to a fight. Some time passed, and Maki made her way to the hangar. She was going to the hangar to kill Kokichi and save the culprit trapped in the bathroom. However, the hangar had an electric barrier preventing her from entering. Fortunately for her, she had an electro hammer to get around the barrier, in a way. She used her electro hammer to disable an exosol and climbed inside. She knew exosols could bypass the barrier, so she got inside one. Around that time, the culprit and Kokichi began their confrontation. I think, I think Maki just used the wrong weapon, to be honest. You didn't need to use the crossbow. I feel like, I feel like, you know, a blade would have worked. I feel like, but that's beside the point. While Kokichi was checking up on them, the culprit ambushed him with a crossbow. But the culprit didn't intend to kill Kokichi. They just wanted to disable him. That's why the culprit aimed for Kokichi's right arm. If they really wanted to kill him, they would have shot him in his vitals. Kokichi reeled from the arrow, and the culprit jumped on him immediately. He didn't want Kokichi to have the chance to summon an Exosol with the remote. While they were fighting, something happened that caught them both off guard. The shutter of the hangar opened, and an Exosol stepped inside. Kokichi was definitely not expecting an Exosol to interrupt them. He pulled out his remote in an attempt to control the Exosol. But Maki leaped out of the cockpit and shot Kokichi with her crossbow. Oh, okay. Never mind. I guess it worked out. The arrow hit Kokichi right in the back. And it was no normal arrow. Yikes, that hurts. The tip was covered in a lethal poison from my lab called Strike 9 Poison. Strike 9, wow. The poison kills slowly. It seems as if Maki wanted Kokichi to confess before he died. But even with poison in his veins, Kokichi continued to spin his lies. When she had had enough, Maki tried to finish him off with another poisoned arrow. But this time, 
Maki was the one caught by surprise. To keep Maki from becoming the Black End, the culprit used their body to shield Kokichi. The culprit's left arm was struck by a poison arrow. Maki remembered that there was an antidote in my lab and immediately ran off to get it. The Strike Nine poison slowly circulated through their systems and would soon kill them both. But in that desperate situation, Kokichi thought up a clever lie. He incorporated this unforeseen event into his plan to help him win the killing game. Or should I say, help him defeat Monokuma. That was Kokichi's true objective. It's why he claimed to be the mastermind. Thinking fast, Kokichi closed the shutter so that Maki could not re-enter the hangar. Thus, Kokichi's final lie was set into motion. Kokichi's gigabrain. When Maki returned with the antidote, she couldn't get back inside the hangar. So she went around to the hangar bathroom and passed the antidote through the window. But after the culprit was given the antidote, Kokichi immediately snatched it. Kokichi drank down all of the antidote while the culprit and Maki watched in horror. Maki must have been panicking, thinking the only antidote was now gone. I did say Strike Nine poison. that the culprit was going to die from her own poisoned arrow. Oh, it covered Strike Nine and antidote, but only poison was left. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, okay. But it was all another one of Kokichi's lies. He had only pretended to drink the antidote. Maki tried desperately to break into the hangar, even slashing the control panel. But she couldn't get the shutter to open again. Defeated, she had no choice but to leave. After Maki had left, Kokichi took out another weapon. An electrobomb capable of disabling communication devices for hours. Kokichi's plan was to use an electrobomb to knock out Monokuma's surveillance cameras. That was why he commissioned Mew to make the bombs in the first place. After detonating an electrobomb, Kokichi coerced the culprit into drinking the antidote. In exchange for the antidote, Kokichi asked the culprit to cooperate with his plan. Kokichi needed to work with the culprit to execute his final lie. Under normal circumstances, the culprit would never have agreed to such a plan. But because the culprit owed him for saving their life, they agreed to Kokichi's request. Ah, uh, request is a generous term. It was more like blackmail. In any case, the two were now working together as accomplices in an insane plan. There was a lot to prepare and not a lot of time. Oh, so the blackmail is that he needs to save Maki? Because Maki would be... Maki would be the black in for Kokichi. If Kokichi's gone, right? But, so it Kaito had, had two choices? Fast. If Kokichi died from the Strike Nine poison, the whole plan would be ruined. After fabricating the scene in the bathroom, the culprit dragged Kokichi to the hydraulic press. This is how the swipe pattern bloodstain from the bathroom to the press was created. Kokichi, with the support of the culprit, stood in front of the press's control panel. The two of them were finally ready to execute the insane lie. While Kokichi was setting up the video camera near the hydraulic press's control panel, 
the culprit laid face up inside the press, draping their coat over their shoulders. Then, Kokichi activated the press and the camera's record button at the same time. The hydraulic press came down slowly, all caught on tape for us to see. Normally, the safety function would have triggered, but the electrobomb had disabled it. Oh, wow. The press got lower and lower, and just as the culprit disappeared from view, Kokichi pressed the force stop button and the camera's pause button simultaneously. Okay. I think I, I uh, misunderstood what the electrobomb would do. It said it stops communication devices, so Kibo is not a communication device. He's Kibo. So it should be fine. Like, he just feels weird, but it's fine. The two then switched places and also switched roles. The culprit and the victim. The would-be victim became our culprit and started up the press and camera. Kokichi had saved the culprit's life because his trick required their cooperation. He wanted to win the killing game, even if it meant dying himself. And so, Kokichi was crushed by the press, and the whole thing was caught on video. The culprit's left sleeve was dangling from the press, making us think he was the victim. Now alone, the culprit collected the video camera. And tore the hydraulic press's power cord so that it could never be raised again. This would make it impossible for us to determine the identity of the crushed body. But there was another reason the victim was killed in this way. It obfuscated the cause of death, making the case that much more difficult to solve. This was all part of Kokichi's plan to create a murder not even Monokuma could figure out. With the press disabled, the culprit returned to the bathroom to flush Kokichi's clothes. Finally, they climbed inside of an exosaw to hide and waited with bated breath. And here they are now in this trial, pretending to be Kokichi. They're trying to deceive Monokuma in order to defeat the true mastermind. And that's it. That's Kokichi's unidentified culprit trick. The culprit is in that exosol. It's you, isn't it? I wow. Kaito Momota, the ultimate astronaut. Wow. I'm right, aren't I? That's you in there, isn't it, Kaito? Really? Is it really, Kaito? I must reluctantly agree with Shuichi's deduction. Man! Shuichi sure loves his crazy deductions! Huh? You're still not gonna admit it? Admit it? But it's wrong. But logically speaking, his deduction tracks. If it's really Kaito in there, he would have admitted it by now. Was Shuichi's reasoning wrong somehow? No, my detective work was flawless. It's the truth. I'm sure that Kaito is inside the ex -iso. So why is Kaito still fighting me? Is this about Monokuma, or is there another aspect to this? You claim everything is set, and that's it. You don't have any evidence, do you?
You all think the body was switched when the hydraulic press stopped for a moment. But the arm, right? But that's just speculation in the end. No evidence to back it up. So if we reverse our reverse way of thinking, then it's likely I didn't do anything, right? It's totally possible that the body switching never happened and Kaito is dead. Not just possible, it's the actual truth. Well, it's true. There's no proof that the bodies were switched. No, we should trust Shuichi's deduction. I'm sure everything will be okay. This emotion I've learned, I believe you call it faith. That's what I feel right now. Kibo! That's right. We have to believe in Shuichi. Kibiko! Well, I don't care either way. But if you guys get it wrong, you'll have to deal with Monokuma. What will the results of this voting time be? If Monokuma makes a mistake, he won't be able to execute anyone, right? Then it will be my victory. And that will ruin the entire killing game. Really? I see, so that's your objective. You mean to ruin the game itself. That's why Kaito has been so stubborn all this time. But what does he mean by ruin exactly? Monokuma can do whatever he wants to the rules. How do you ruin something like that? What would be the point? Come on, Monokuma. Start the voting already. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to it. Sheesh! Let's proceed with voting time, shall we? Sorry I fell short of your expectations, but I'm pretty sure I won't make any mistakes. Cause I got the ultimate detective's airtight logic on my side. Now I know the whole truth and why. And I believe in my own logic and I believe in Kaito. From this point on, it's not about logic, it's about how far I'm willing to go. I believe in you, Kaito, not as a detective, but as Shuichi Saihara. Uh, can I just say something? I'd like to have one last conversation before we vote. Hmm? One last conversation? There's more to talk about? You see, before we vote, there's something I have to say. I just need you all to listen. It's gonna switch everything around. Huh? <clears throat> all right, let's pin this down. Whoa. Who is inside that Exosol? Hmm? Kaito, right? That's what you said, isn't it? Kokichi's the one who died! And the culprit is Kaito standing right there! Isn't that correct? <laughs> of course not! I would never die! I trust Shuichi! Kaito is trying to ruin the game, that's why he's hiding the truth. I don't exactly know why, but he's putting his life on the line for it. So I, to put my faith in him, I need to put my faith in him. Everything that we've determined up to now, what if I turn it all on its head? Yes, I need to lie! All right, Maybe that's this. what you said, isn't it? What is this lie? Kokichi spotted. The one who died. Oh my god! I'll reveal the truth. Oh, perfect timing! Yo, I didn't expect that to pop in. Oh. Kokichi, I'm sorry. I just can't lie for you Oh, anymore. golly. I forgot we have to lie in every trial. What? What do you mean, lie? Kokichi spotted. Why did you say Kokichi? The one in the Exosol is... I'm so sorry, everyone. I've deceived you all. Huh? The truth is, after we found the crushed body, I... Saw Kokichi. <gasps> you saw Kokichi? Yes. 
He threatened me, told me that if I didn't do what he said, he'd kill us all. He wanted me to lie about what I saw, so that the trial would be more interesting. But I can't do it anymore. I can't keep lying like this. Wow, what a good lie. I have to tell the truth. Kokichi isn't dead. He's alive. Oh, hold on! Why did you wait until now to mention this? I'm so sorry, Kibo, but it's true. I'm sorry, Kibo. Really? I am really sorry, but this is the only way. Kaito is trying to fool Monokuma, trying to ruin the class trial. If Kaito is risking his life to do this, then I'll stand by him. I'll believe. I believe in Kaito. I will believe in what he's trying to do. He's not doing this to hurt us. I'm sure he's trying to save us all. If Monokuma wants to rely on my detective work, fine, I'll just lie. Everyone, please, don't vote for Kaito. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi is in that Exocell. He's the culprit. Hey, Shuichi, I don't know what you're scheming. But as far as I'm concerned, you guys aren't extras at all. If you guys are wrong, you're gonna have to take your punishments like champs. Got it? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not wrong. We can't vote for Kaito. Stop it. That's enough. Huh? Huh? It's over. Kaito? No. Wait, but he seems happy. You guys get it wrong, and Monokuma gets it right. Then you'll all get punished. Then why are you popping out? There's no way I can let that happen. Oh, wait. Shoot, my bad. <laughs> so, it's fine. Let's end this. No, but why were you hiding the whole time then? And then pop out. Kaito. K Kaito! So, it really was you? My bad for tricking you guys. I'll explain everything. But before that, it's voting time. No. All right, don't get it wrong. I'm definitely the culprit. You got it? I'm the one who killed Kokichi. Kaito, no. It's just like you to figure it all out, Shuichi. You're really something else. So all you gotta do is believe in your reasoning. That's what detectives do. Hey, Monokuma, let's hurry up and get this vote started! <laughs> well said. Let's get this started then. The heart racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face off. It's voting time! I don't even remember why I voted for Kaito last time, but I'm gonna vote for him again. I'm pretty sure it's to protect Maki, right? Because she shot the arrow at Kokichi. <laughs> it seems the voting has finished. Now then, let's see the result. Chosen as the blue. Okay. Don't need to repeat that. Dang it, Kaito. I guess he had no choice. Well, 
if the culprit's gonna confess, then I guess even people like him can can't mess up. Absolutely right. The person who got rid of Kokichi Oma is Kaito Momoda. You got it right. Hmm. So y you all got it right, huh? Even Shuichi and Makiro voted for me. <laughs> what a relief. Well, I knew you guys would have get it wrong. But you know. But man, was it hard to act like Kokichi the whole time? I mean, sure, he wrote most of his lines. Jeez. Seriously, look at this huge script. He wrote this whole thing. What? No, there's no time to do that. He planned that ahead of time? It's even got a bunch of alternate lines for different events, too. Huh. But even so, I still had to ad lib, ad lib. You guys couldn't tell, though, huh? Come on, man. You guys got it right. It's all good. Why? Hmm? Why did you get rid of Kokichi? You were against the killing game, so why did you get rid of him? I believe that you absolutely wouldn't do such a thing. Maki. Was she protecting Kaito, or just believing in him, like me? That's right. Yeah, I should explain. Most of it's just like Shuichi said. After Kokichi pretended to take the antidote, he gave it to me. I mean... Then he told me I had to cooperate with this plan. Hey! Plan? What plan? <laughs> I've been thinking this whole time of a plan to throw the mastermind off guard. What? Throw them off guard? What are you talking about? You're the mastermind. Ah. Ah, well, um, that was a lie. I only pretended to be the mastermind. What? Pretended? Yeah. You all fell for it, but you know. I prepared a bunch of stuff. Like this remote control, I had Mew make it. The mysterious message in the courtyard using Gonta and making him a killer? All that preparation was just to make you guys think I was the mastermind. What? Why, why would you do that? The reason why I pretended to be the mastermind. Shit! Was to end this boring game. Huh? End it? Yeah. I thought if I showed you the despairing truth, you guys wouldn't want to go outside anymore. I thought it would end the game. But instead this happened. I'm gonna die by Maki's hands. Why do you think this happened? Why do you think Maki tried to get rid of me? Why do you think the game started again? What? Why? Oh man... Because the true math mastermind instigated it. I'm certain of it. They made a move without us noticing. Man, thanks to that, everything is ruined. Hold on! The true mastermind instigated it? So whoever that person is, they also instigated Maki's actions too? I'm disappointed. Yeah, they probably tried to eliminate me because I pretended to be the mastermind. What? My actions were instigated by the true mastermind? But that can't be. The real the reason I decided to get rid of Kokichi was because I remembered the truth from the flashback light. Yeah, so Kokichi didn't place that flashback Could it light. Be? Maybe making you remember the truth was what the mastermind wanted. Huh? Hmm. Maybe the mastermind had us use the flashback lights. So we would target Kokichi as a remnant of despair? Okay, okay. Which means... So the flashback light itself was the true mastermind's trap all the time? All along? They expected us to target Kokichi once we remembered he was a remnant of despair? Okay. Kokichi certainly expected it. That's why he talked about the true mastermind. But even so, this is all rather convenient for the true mastermind. The person claiming to be the mastermind just so happened to be the remnant of despair? We're all students of Hope Speak Academy, and our fates are tied to rem the remnants of despair. I never would have imagined that fate would bring us to Kokichi's removal. It just plays too nicely for the true mastermind. Hmm. I didn't know about the flashback light. I guess that's another mystery for you. I mean... Anyway, like I was saying... You know... Then who is the true mastermind? Who knows? I don't know either. But... But it doesn't matter. We can't lose. This game is pointless unless you win. That's why I thought of a special plan. Why I'm on the verge of losing. <laughs> My plan will help me win. Huh? I don't really get it, but is this the plan to throw off the mastermind? Yeah. 
It's not that difficult. Kaito, I need you <laughs> to get rid of me. What? I mean... The plan was to make a case where the victim was unknown. And then trick Monokuma into thinking I was the victim so he'd mess up. If he ruled that either Makiro or Kokichi were the blackened, then I'd show myself and Monokuma's ruling will be invalid. And if Monokuma's ruling was invalid, the game would end. But... That's what I'm most curious about. What makes you think it would end? That's right. Yeah, I asked Kokichi about that myself. Why would Monokuma care if he messed up on who the blackened was? And this is what he said. Well, you know... Even if it's Monokuma or the true mastermind, they can't break the rules as they please. Being unfair like that isn't allowed. Hold up! What do you mean? Yeah... Death games are meant to be watched. If no one was watching, there would be no reason to be such a stickler about rules. There would be no point in making this a game in the first place. But... Monokuma's been a stickler, ab stickler about the rules and making the game interesting. That's why he agreed to my plan in the virtual world. Which means... Monokuma is aware that someone is watching us. In which case, I have no doubt that this game is being shown to someone. What did you say? So this is some kind of show? But... But who would be watching? We're the only people alive, aren't we? Yeah. That's right, the flashback light is the reason we even remember them. Ah. But Kokichi might have been right. Why have a death game if no one's watching? I wasn't sure about it at first, but after this class trial, there's no doubt. Listen up. Monoka Monokuma can't do whatever he wants. He's bound by the rules of the game. That's why he couldn't afford to get the culprit wrong. Why he relied on Shuichi. Yeah. It's just like Kokichi said. If this game ru game's rules matter so much, someone's watching. A game is made to be watched. If that's true, then who? Who's watching this? Hey. What's this all about, Monokuma? Is this game really a show for someone? <laughs> Why won't you tell us? We were friends during the trial. You guys. Honestly, I was just happy you guys cooperated with me. Well. Humans love to help. They jump at any opportunity to extend and help you hand. Well then. Then here's another question. Who are you really if Kokichi, a remnant of despair, is not the mastermind? Incomprehensible. Then who's the true mastermind? Is there another remnant of despair like him? Ahem. I'm not going to spill the beans on a perfect to-be-continued cliffhanger like that. <sighs> why you... Why you are just too cute. What? Hey. I understand Kokichi's plan, but why did you agree to work with him, Kaito? Why did you agree to get rid of Kokichi? Because he saved your life? You should have just ignored him. He's better off gone anyway. Because he's protecting you, monkey. Nah. It was kind of hard to ignore such an annoying guy. Huh? Jeez. I wonder how far ahead he planned this evil scheme of his. What? But getting rid of you. Don't screw around! What are you talking about? You want me to get rid of you? Are you sure you're okay with that? <laughs> if the poison gets rid of me, then Maki would become the Blacken. There we go. And her crime will be exposed so easily. Well, you know. If that happened, then Maki and I would have been gone for no reason, right? Which is just what the true mastermind expects. What? You? you? That's plain dirty. So that's why you gave me the antidote. <laughs> I am the ultimate supreme leader. There are no depths I won't sink to. <laughs> Even if I have to sacrifice myself. Anyway, this is our chance. Our chance to end this game. Ruin this killing game. That's why you have to get rid of me so we can win and ruin this game. We'll bring the true mastermind and everyone who's watching. <laughs> we'll bring them down to utter despair. Then everyone who died can rest in peace. Oof. Ah, I'm gonna die soon. Can we get this started already? Damn. You're seriously crazy, dude. <laughs> but you know. At least I wasn't boring, right? That punk. That he blackmailed you by using me? Nah. 
No, I agreed to his plan once I heard the words ruin this killing game. Jeez. He was crazy, but that let him come up with some crazy plans. And we needed a crazy plan in order to stand a chance against Monokuma. I bet on that chance. I didn't have any other choice. Damn it. Because I'm out of time. What? Time. Could it be... Kaito, you mean your health? What are you talking about? But you said you were fine. You, you told me not to worry about it anymore. My bad. That was a lie. Huh? A lie? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Honestly, I'm at my limit just talking. <laughs> but you know... But I gotta wonder how this happened. I don't remember at all. In my memories, I was fine during the medical exam for my training. If he was fine during the medical exam, that and that means... Could it be... This might be the virus. What? From the meteorites? If I remember correctly. One of the plagues that caused our planet to crumble. A virus that carried the meteorites spread across the globe. Hope's Peak Academy along with the rest of the planet was in danger of extinction. Even though we had come so far and triumphed over so much despair, we were almost wiped out in an instant. Could it be? This must have done. Have, this must have something to do with the virus. Kaito didn't use that flashback light, so he might not remember it. But, but weren't we supposed to be immune? We were selected because we didn't. Well. Perhaps the virus was dormant when you were selected for the Gopher Project. To tell you the truth, you could have been affected the whole time, showing no symptoms until recently. What did you say? Kaito was infected with the virus? But how could that be? Jeez. I don't know what you're talking about, but I guess I'm pretty messed up, huh? Well, I knew this was coming. That's why I agreed to Kokichi's plan. But you know... When I found out about the plan, I thought it was pretty awesome. Hey, so... Kokichi left me with a whole outline of it. I was freaked out when I read it. It was a pretty good plan, and I thought we might be able to trick Monokuma. <laughs> But I knew Shuichi'd see right through it to the end. Huh? In the end. Well done! And that's exactly how it went. Nice job, Shuichi. You're really something. Well then. Kaito, did you? That's right. Yeah. I knew you guys would figure everything out. Got it. That's why I was able to get on board with Kokichi and lie to you like that. Even if I messed up stuff during the trial, I knew Shuichi'd see the truth. That's my sidekick. Why? Then... If you knew it, it was if you knew it was pointless from the, from the start, then you shouldn't have gone that far. Nah. It wasn't pointless. It ended up being a huge success. What's that mean? I mean Because of this plan and Kokichi pretending to be the mastermind. Got it. We got closer to the tr true mastermind's lair. Behind this truth, there's gotta be a hint that leads to the real truth. Huh? Yeah. No doubt. That's why Kokichi gave his life. But you talk as if he was your partner when you hated him so strongly before. What? Oh, I hate his guts. Honestly, I'm still mad at him. He made us go through so much to the end. No, even beyond that. He was lying. Hey! It's getting harder to breathe, so c please, can you? Hey, so... Can I ask you one thing? You want to ruin this game, but... You kept saying how fun it was. That was a lie, obviously. How could a game that you're forced to play be fun? Shit. I had to think this game was fun to survive. I had to lie to myself. Huh? You little. <sighs> the people who created this game to toy with our lives and enjoying it. And the guys enjoying it. They all make me mad. Shit! That's why I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get rid of this game. Huh? Kokichi said that? Nah. I could have been a lie too. He probably just said it so I cooperate with him. Hmm. Was it really a lie? I think his dying words may have been the honest truth. It's a lie! But. I wonder which one it is. A lie or the truth? Even now, at the very end, I don't really understand Kokichi. Maybe that's what lying is all about. The truth is in the eye of the beholder, huh? Kokichi was the very embodiment of a lie. <sighs> that pretty much wraps it up. Now finally, <laughs> I need to apologize to Shuichi. Huh? Me? I mean... To be honest, I was jealous of you. Huh? 
jealous? That's right. Because you were always saving us, you know? Your detective skills kept us alive. You were just way too cool and I got frustrated. My bad. So that's why I was so harsh on you. My bad. That's wrong. Hey. I was only so confident because you were there for me, Kaito. When you made me your sidekick, you said that you take the responsibility. And that that's why I could do all of this. If you didn't talk to me back then, even now I'd be hmm? <coughs> Kaito! Ugh. Kaito! What? How can I be okay? I'm about to die. Okay! You sure are, bucko. It's punishment time. Uh. Punishment? I won't let you. I won't let you kill him. Oh? You planning to get in my way? You know what would happen if you do that, don't you? So what? I plan to get rid of you anyway from the start. Indeed. I've been determined to fight back for a while now. Cut it out. Stop. Kaito! I can't. I can't let you die. That's it! I don't care if you're sick. I don't care if you're dying. I won't let Monokuma touch you. <laughs> what was that? Hey! Hey! Oh, I'm just thinking about life and how irreplaceable it is, you know? Huh? Hmm. When a life ends, those closest to it mourn. But if you could somehow recycle that life, then those closest to it wouldn't need to mourn anymore, right? That's nice! If we could recycle life, the world would be filled with hope. That's my point. Hey! What are you talking? Hey! Alright, kids, time for your grand re entrance. <laughs> Rise and shine, your sign! With our powers combined, we are the Monocasts! No! No! Huh? I... I'm Monotaro, no matter how you read it, or spell it, or say it, it's still Monotaro! <sighs> what the? That's totally a lie. By the way... What's going on? I could have swore there was more use chumps before. Hell yeah! Let's destroy Monodan right now. This sad sack is bumming me out. What did you say? Weren't all weren't they all destroyed? Hey, um. Those old mono cubs were destroyed. These mono cubs are their latest model. They still got their factory settings, so in a way, it's like they're brand new characters. Thank you so but who cares? Now that my cubs are back, I'm not lonely and miserable anymore. What was that? You brought them back on the whim like that? You guys. You guys are irreplaceable. Maybe not as irreplaceable as the mono cubs. But finding other people to participate in this game is easier than you think. Finding other people. Oh well. I got no idea what's going on or what any of this means, but that's right. Hell yeah! We're so lovable and stuff, ex except Monodom. Hey, hey! Do you know what? Do you know what else this means? Shing! Now that the Monocubs are back, I've got my Exosol Entourage protecting me again. Still wanted to find me now? <sighs> this is bad. If he's got the Exosols again. Shut up. So what? I won't let you kill him. <sighs> Even if you even if you fight the Exosols, you'll just get killed. The remote control and the last electro bomb were crushed in a press. No. I won't give up. Y you? I. I've never felt this way before. I've always fought to kill, but this is the first time I fought to protect someone. Huh? And I've never been given a nickname like Makiro before either. What? I... I've never met someone as stubborn as you before. <laughs> and I've never fallen for someone before. What? Maki roll? Maki. No. I don't want this to end. I just don't. I won't let you kill him. My bad. I'm sorry, but that's not an option. I don't have as much time left as you think. <sighs> I'm fighting just to stay standing. 
I... Hey, so... Hey, Makiro, I asked you so before, what's your enemy? Before, you hated yourself so much, you didn't even like yourself a little. And wasn't that the reason you tried to distance yourself from the others? That's right. You decided that you didn't deserve to have friends, didn't you? That was your enemy. Don't worry about it. But not anymore, huh? You're all right <laughs> now. You fell for a guy like me. And now you can learn to like yourself. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't cry. Can't you send me off with one last smile? I believe in you. You guys too. I'm not gonna allow any tears. Send me off with a bang. Dang, bro. Okay. All right, Kaito, I won't cry. I'll endure it. <laughs> yeah, I'll endure it. I... I can't cry even if I wanted to. <sighs> hey, sorry about the wait, Monokuma. You can go ahead and start now. Okay. Dong, dong, dong. Oh, boy, my first punishment time. I've never seen one before. Hey! But let me just say this to the true mastermind controlling Monokuma. Get ready! You better get ready. My friends aren't gonna lose to you. That's all. Please. I'll leave the rest to you guys. End this ridiculous game. Please do not worry. Shuichi. Never forget, you're not alone. You have friends. Don't try to do everything by yourself, okay? Uh, okay. The impossible is possible. Don't forget, the impossible is, imp is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. Okay. Marky roll. How long are you gonna cry? You should smile. Sorry. I can't. That's impossible. I can't. <laughs> uh, of course. My bad for making you cry like that. <laughs> All right. Let's end this with a bang. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Okay, okay. Get ready. It's punishment time. <sighs> Last off, second ignition. What? Oh, he's going, oh my gosh. To the equator, the Earth's core. What in the world? It failed. Wow, he really didn't have that much time at all. Kibo! What is happening? Kibo's okay, right? No, look at him! <laughs> Kaito. Right? Kibo, are you okay? You got hit by the debris when you protect. Well. I'm fine, more importantly. Hey! What's the matter, Monokuma? Upset that Kaito won? Yeah? What do you mean, Kaito won? Because. He died before the end of your punishment. Kaito didn't die from your execution. Okay. That's right. Kaito wasn't gone from you. Yeah. He really didn't have that much time at all. Wow. 
It's Kaito's victory. I didn't know if he meant to do it, but he certainly went off, went out like a stubborn person. Well, whatever. It's not like this is the end of the killing game, so it's fine. What was that? It's not over? Hell yeah! Hey! Ain't it written in the school regulations? That's right! The killing game would go on until there was just one blackened or two spotless. Hmm. School regulations, so you gotta follow the regulations, huh? The only reason you want rules is because you're showing this to someone. Well... I just want an entertaining game, but you're certainly entitled to your opinion. That's wrong! Enough of your BS, Monokuma. I made a promise to Kaito. I will end this game. That's it! And to give Kaito's death meaning, I swear, I will keep my promise. You're right! We're not going to let anyone else die. Hmm. Who's even gonna play that game anymore? It's already over. You could cut this tension with a knife. What's everyone talking about anyway? Well, actually... Feels like we stumbled into the last act. I don't know what's happening at all. Pops! Phil is in. We want to help you out. <gasps> oh, my nose gay is acting nice. He's sucking up for brownie points. They're so cute. <laughs> Gather around, kids. I'll spend a whole month telling you about what you missed. <laughs> A whole month? Won't it take longer than the whole chapter? My widow cubs. I'll tell you all about it while I smother you with hugs and kisses. You kids go on ahead and wait for me at home. So long, farewell! Huh? Why did I stay behind? Because I want to give you all a reward for working so hard. Why you? I don't want it, just go away. You're really bugging me. Wait, Kokichi's gone without us seeing his room. No. By the way, I don't know where you got the idea that this game can be stopped. There's nothing a participant can do to end this game. <laughs> no way, nuh uh. This game is gonna keep going and going for a long time. During his ranty, Monokuma took out. Huh? A flashback light. That's unexpected. What? What did you just do? What? A flashback light just now? Could it be? Is it broken? I don't feel like I remembered anything. <laughs> this flashback light has a special effect. You'll remember soon enough. You'll remember that despair is the only choice you have. Yahoo! And that hope doesn't exist here at all. <laughs> this game will never end. And then Monokuma left. He declared that this game would continue. He declared that there is no hope. After all, I honestly don't remember how we got back. After all that, I, I honestly don't remember how we got back. It took all I had just to accept the reality that Kaito was gone. And not just Kaito, Kokichi too. Someone we all trusted and someone none of us trusted. We lost them both. But it wasn't all for nothing, because we're drawing ever closer to discovering the true mastermind. Ew! The killing game will never end. Never ever! As long as I'm around, it will never end. It will repeat over and over and over. Why would I let something this fun ever end? I want to have more fun. As long as, as it's fun, we have to keep doing it. There's no way she's still here. That's just sim supp simple supply and demand. <laughs> Such despair. That's there's no way, bro. Later that night, I found myself. No, there's no way she's still here. Well, how many times she's gonna be in every game or something? Somehow she'll find a way. I found myself standing in that one spot of the courtyard. The place where Kaito and I would train together. Ah, oh, I miss that so much. I actually miss that. Wow. My heart felt crushed. All the loss and guilt and helplessness sinking in my chest. But still, I... I stood there. Well... What are you doing? 
Ah. Oh. Maki. Hey. So you came too. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Maki, I'm sorry. What? Uh, um... I was the one who drove Kaito into a corner. Just like Kaede, I ended up betraying everyone important to me. It's all my fault. Well... Are you feeling lonely? Huh? Hey. Are you lonely now that Kaito is gone? Uh, okay. Yeah. I feel so lonely and so sad, I... I don't know what to do. The only reason I'm still alive right now is because of Kaito. If he hadn't been my friend, I would be... That's right. Me too. I can't remember the last time I ever cried that hard. I wonder how long it's been. Okay. But I won't cry anymore. I'm sad, but I'm grateful to Kaito. Huh? Grateful? Okay. Yeah, I want to tell him that rather than be s being sad or lonely, I'm grateful to him. <laughs> That's why I won't cry anymore. I'm not going to wallow in pity. I want to show him how much I appreciate all the things he did. You're right. I guess it's the same for me. I want to show my appreciation too. I'm sure that our friends who've passed on don't want to see us miserable. Thanks. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you guys were here after all. Yeah. Just like I thought. Jeez. Uh, I knew you guys would be here because I cast this spell to find you. Oh. Samugi, Himiko? Um. If you don't mind, can we join you in your training? Huh? <laughs> I'll train you all from the ground up so we can end this game together. Huh? We're going to end this together? Yeah. Himiko and I promised to Kaito. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do what we promised and work together to end this game. All right. We can't afford to lose to despair. Okay. Absolutely. Monokuma said that there's no hope anywhere. Why well, he's wrong. There is hope. My friends are my hope. <laughs> Kaito said it best. I'm not alone. That's right. I have friends. Not just friends here, but also friends who have died. They all gave us their hope too. That's why I'm going to live. I want to live for everyone who died. Despair cannot defeat me. I will hold on and survive no matter what. Thank you, Kaito. Let your sweat wash away all your sadness, fear, worry, and hardships. Just start moving your body and your pain will become memories before you know it. Then you should train too. Well, I don't have anything to worry about. Man. Cause, I mean, I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Hey! No fair, Kaito. Hey! By the way... Uh... What happened to Kibo? Do you know where, where he went? Huh? I don't know. Uh... What is that guy off doing? <laughs> I don't think a robot really needs to do any training. But... But the rest of us are here. I kind of wish he'd come too. I hope he's really okay. He got knocked out or something. Something happened. It's quiet. Too quiet. And yet, this silence is quite refreshing. I used to hear my inner voice with perfect clarity. It would fill me with the power of hope, guide me along the right path. I can't hear it anymore. All I hear now is silence. That silence means my will is now my own. Even if despair is all we have to choose, even if hope no longer exists, I will never give in to despair. I... I will end this. No matter what, I will force this to end. This school, this ultimate academy for gifted juveniles, is steeped in despair. Is that a death flag? What the? Oh! And I will destroy it. Oh my gosh! 
We're training, bro. We are training. Oh my gosh. We're in the middle of training. We only have five left. Aww. Was the inner voice keeping him sane? Galactic jacket. No. I'm really upset, guys. I'm really upset. I don't know what to say. I feel like... I feel like... I feel like I like Kaito more than I think I do, you know? Because I always get emotional around Kaito. I think his story was just written really well. And I love the training with him. I think the game... The game is like, even if you don't hang out with Kaito, Kaito will hang out with will hang out with you. And he will make us, you know, I don't know, really attached to him. And I think it worked. I felt really sad when he was gone. So, uh, it's really good. This game's really good. So, yeah. And um, Kokichi, um, I really don't know his true intentions, man. But I think... I mean, if he's willing to sacrifice himself, I think he really, he truly wanted to get rid of, like, end the game. He wanted to stop Monokuma somehow. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next one.